Hey guys, in the video I got for you coming up, well first let me apologize because the first part of it did not record when I thought it did. But this customer told me that sometimes it blows cold and I eventually figured out that it was going out on high head pressure. But she kind of had me chasing my tail for a little while. I'll show you what I found, stay tuned. The thermostat says that it's calling for heat. Oh, I just put it through defrost. I don't hear that blower running at all. Mm -hmm. All I did was move it to all right, let's get in the call. Let's see if I got All right, that, that seems to be working. Um, for some reason, when I put it on four, it ain't coming on at all. Okay, it's still calling. I put it on five and it just stopped. There you go, man. That's on four. Nothing. Three. There go my heat strips kicking back in. I guess we know those limits work. I'm gonna watch this for just a second because I halfway suspect this blower is stopping. The blower has not stopped. Like I said though, top two speeds were not really working it's only pulling 1.1 amps I think I'm gonna shut it off and check the bearings um, well right now I'm starting to see a problem After seeing those head pressures, I am further convinced we have a problem with this motor. That, that was saying that it just barely blows out the vents and it hadn't been doing that before. motor itself is good because it was running right at 14 ohms right at 14 ohms and last
right at 14 ohms. So, motor is good. But I'm on, there's another test I can do. One last test. I'm afraid we might have an airflow restriction and we're fixing to check that out. We are fixing the head under here and see if we have any restrictions. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything obvious. I do not see any crushed up but all right before I start recovering I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the blower motor and there's no restriction in the ductwork this customer has repeatedly told me that <clears throat> this customer <clears throat> excuse me has repeatedly told me that nobody's added freon well, <clears throat> well that's not exactly what i'm finding i think watch these pressures and i'll explain why If I had 
had some kind of refrigerant restriction, it would affect these. <coughs> temperature and we're at 140 degrees bit 
said when I had my probes hooked up, but I know I was over 500. And at 73 degrees out here and about 75 inside, that might be real close to normal. I'm going to schedule a visit and come back and check it when there's a heat load. Probably be in April or something like that. All right, so on that one, the customer insisted that no one else has been out there since we were there. We were there three years ago to do a capacitor, I think, but it really did look like it was overcharged to me. I mean, just a few ounces, but overcharged all the same. I could be mistaken, and that could be the first symptoms of another problem, but I don't think so, not right now. So if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. It does help out the channel. And I'll see y'all on the next one.